<laughs> you know, I joke around that we're the alumni that never went away. We started, I started here in 1987 and took one year off and started my MBA part-time at night, trudging away. We were enrolled 13 out of 15 years here, so we were able to see the evolution of campus during that time. We always coined the phrase, RIT was easy to get into and hard to graduate from. <laughs> It's all the experience. <laughs> Patrick and Lisa are among the most enthusiastic volunteers I've ever seen. They, as we say, bleed orange. They seem to be proud not only to be alumni, but to be personally invested in their alma mater. They uh, walk across the campus with a sense of pride, and uh, it's visible on their faces. I first met Lisa about 25 years ago when she was a student in my class, and today I find her unchanged. She is still enthusiastic, she is effervescent, she is inquisitive, she is passionate about her discipline. The course that Lisa teaches for us is designed for non-majors who would like to have some background in packaging science. She lights a fire in a lot of those students. Uh, we call that the Talti magic. I think students react very positively to alumni because I think it validates their goals and objectives at RIT. And thereby she has nurtured the, the alums of the future. There was a major drive and a want for me after I graduated from the executive MBA program to reach back into the university to see how I could get engaged and how I could give back. And at that time, there was a lot of activity on campus around a capital campaign that was going on. And uh, I wasn't an alum of the school, but uh, I got engaged with the Galisano College uh, at the time because of the IT computer focus there. When the college was first getting started, we did not have an alumni base. We did not have an advisory board. Uh, and so we had to start with something. And there were a few people, uh, like Patrick, who stepped up and became the, some of the first key players in our efforts to become a real college with alumni and with an advisory board, with contacts in industry. The relationship doesn't stop upon graduation. And uh, the alumni who leave here are very well educated and enabled to basically uh, do very well in, in business, and I think part of the relationship is the giving back. Belonging to NRS uh, wasn't so much about the amount of, of giving, although obviously that's important. It was the entire package deal around the networking, uh, advancing the school overall through relationships, uh, through giving, through what, however means you could do that. One of the benefits you can see immediately with giving to RIT are within some of the scholarships, where students, it may not be a large scholarship amount, but it's enough to offset the cost of, of books or helping them pay some of their student fees. Through those experiences, to be able to translate that to other NRS members who might not be on campus and might not be seeing the impact that their giving has to be able to share the enthusiasm and the experiences is a big part of what I enjoy most about NRS. Of course, it's the social part. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things to do is to promote RIT through Facebook, to have the pictures posted and say, oh, here are the kids looking from the second floor of the engineering building over the engineering plot and then to have people post comments saying, engineering quad, RIT is an engineering quad, and it gets the dialogue going where they can see how much campus has changed. I think uh, for alumni who have been away from the campus for a period of time, or an extended period of time, um, I don't even know if surprised is probably the, the best way to describe it. I think overwhelmed, I think excited, I think they're just so in awe around everything that has changed over the years, both academically as well as uh, all the changes to campus and everything that has gone along with that. The Taltis are involved in major activities like Imagine RIT, and they are walking the campus and they're spreading the word as proud alumni. I mean, Imagine RIT has done so much for this university in terms of showing the, the general population, what it's all about. And it's great because now we've got young people coming in saying, oh, that looks like fun. 
maybe I'll look into this some more in school. Folks uh, like Patrick uh, and his firm and the sponsorships from the, the companies that allow us to make it happen uh, are incredibly important. Well, it was very um, easy for us to say, hey, you know, one of our core values is innovation. Uh, this is all around imagination and creativity. What better thing can we do than to be a corporate sponsor of this event? And we've been doing it ever since. One of the RIT events that I love to promote amongst alumni is the RIT Big Shot because it is not always held in Rochester. It's held in different parts of the United States and it's a lot of fun because we've participated in the ones that have taken place in Rochester, especially with the kids. It's again, another fun family event going on that is promoting RIT. And I think our kids knew how to read RIT before they knew how to read other words. Bring the Talties out to a hockey game and you'll see how their enthusiasm is infectious. A uh, night out at RIT Hockey, certainly everybody is dressed in RIT gear in one way, shape, or form. And I think we get the kids involved a little more than uh, Lisa and I get involved with it. But certainly the kids are ready to go. It does involve some face painting and tiger faces. But people don't realize that this is a gift that's right in our own backyard to be able to come to RIT and have your kids experience these things. They're here on taking classes, they're in camps, they're involved in all the clubs and organizations that we can offer to our alumni. Uh, they come out to events and they are just as enthusiastic as mom and dad. And I think they're setting up well for the next generation of enthusiastic alumni. I think through alumni engagement as volunteers, donors, industry partners, an alum gets to really know all about this university. It's multifaceted around here and they bring all perspectives to their work and we're the better for it. I think RIT, it's a lot of hard work, but it's also a lot of fun. And to be able to give back to a school that gave us the opportunities that we've had in our career and our personal lives, is just a natural, it's a given. And I wouldn't expect it any other way. It's just an integrated part of our life. I, I really think that's the case. It, it, there, there really is something for everyone at RIT. You just have to find it. Oh, Lisa and Patrick are definitely the biggest fans of RIT. And I think they have kind of created a model for anyone who wants to know what it is like to be an engaged alum. It's, uh, it's quite admirable. Uh, we're lucky to have them. They are the kind of couple that when you walk in the room, they make you feel like you are the most important person in the room and they're genuinely happy to see you. And I hope they feel the same when they walk into an RIT room because they're an important part of the RIT family.